The city of Minot has seen exponential growth over the years and it doesn't seem to be slowing down. That prompted council members to invest in a project for the southwest side of the city. New this morning, reporter PJ Walker shows us the plans for one of the fastest growing sections in the area. We have uh, experienced an increase in building permits over the past year and residential permits. Community and Economic Development Director Brian Billingsley says the city is also seeing an increase in commercial building permits, specifically in the southwest corner of the city. I think we're going to see more accelerated growth in this region in the future. Uh, we're going to see everything from single family dwellings to apartment complexes. Some of which has already started. Along with the new Trinity Hospital location, Southwest Crossing Partners will soon occupy land in the area. It will contain an assisted living facility, a nursing home, and memory care units. Um, that will begin construction sometime probably within the next year. With Trinity expected to debut its new facility in 2021 and the Southwest Crossing project to soon be underway, resources will be in high demand. The biggest thing is for water supply. At the recent meeting, council members approved the bid of a close to $4 million water tower project. The one and a half million gallon tank will serve the entire south side of Minot, which Director of Public Works Dan Jonason says will make all the difference. You know, in the summer when we start getting into our high usage uh, and our plant can't keep up, we have that ability for the to store it uh, so we can catch up at night when we're making water, store it, and then have it for use during the day. Along with making sure the water supply keeps up with the growing demand in the area, Jonathan says it could also help the city's fire rating, which might save Minot residents a few bucks. When they do a review again, uh, it could we could get up to a higher rating. Groundbreaking for the project will be sometime this summer. Jonathan says the structure is set to be up and running in August of 2022. Reporting in Minot for KX News, I'm PJ Walker. 60% of the project is being paid for by a grant received from the State Water Commission. The city's water and sewer cash reserves will cover the rest.